Hello and welcome to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. I brought a good news today for all Microsoft Power Automate developers. Microsoft announced Power Automate Desktop is now free for all Windows 10 users without any charges. It's really a good news. First of all, we will learn what is Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Power Automate Desktop originally launched on last September 2020. Microsoft released a new desktop-based robotic process automation that is RPA solution that has low code with automation capabilities. That is Microsoft Power Automate Desktop software. It's based on Microsoft acquisition of SoftMotu in early 2020. But Microsoft has since extended SoftMotu technology and integrated it deeper into its own stack. Power Automate Desktop enables coders and non-coders can easily automate process and tasks across the desktop and web applications. Power Automate Desktop introduces a new drag and drop visual designer with over 370 plus of actions that run on your desktop. So you can automate everyday tasks to more complex business process and workflows all from one intelligent automation platform. Now, what kind of features that Power Automate Desktop will provide apart from other RPA tools? It will accelerate the automation with an easy to use visual designer, simulate multiple scenarios with the web and desktop recorders, automate between Windows application with the key actions, and also it will provide to automate with the web applications also, and also it will reduce bottlenecks with flexible exception handling. So now these are all the features that what you have in the Power Automate Desktop and also right now Microsoft is providing this Power Automate Desktop software for free with Windows 10 OS operating system. Now you may heard this word Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop multiple times in real time. So what is the difference between Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop? First of all, we'll see the look and feel of the Power Automate. If you see on my screen, I'm having a web application or cloud application for the Power Automate. It's not the desktop application. You can see over here, I'm having, I have logged in into the flow.microsoft.com and after that, I have logged in with my user credentials. Over here, it is having more than 400 plus of connectors to connect with different, different applications like Excel, SharePoint, and whatnot. There's a lot of connectors are available. If you see over here, when you click on the connectors, if you see over here, I'm having more than 400 plus of connectors available to, con to automate my process by using these connectors from the Power Automate that is cloud platform. You can see over here, all connectors, one is standard connectors and the premium connectors. If you want to connect any premium connectors, you have to pay for that one. And if you have a standard connector so that you don't want to pay, you just have the license of the Power Automate. So this is the Power Automate where you can use it on pay per go concept. If you see over here, I'm having the connectors over here. So n number of connectors you can see, you can have Outlook, SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, SQL Server, Azure DevOps and whatnot. So these are all the connectors which you are going to create the cloud flows by using all these connectors. All right. Over here, when you click on my flows, you can see all the different, different flows are available inside the cloud platform of the Power Automate. You can see cloud flows. These are all the flows which we are going to create by connecting to the connectors which I have just shown you. And this is the desktop flows which we are going to learn to create that flows by using Power Automate Desktop. All right, and you can see business process flows, which are already having the flows in design over here, like challenge management process, idea to project the business process. These are all the business process flows which we are having. All right, and if you see the desktop flows over here, which are the flows that you are going to create by using Power Automate Desktop, all right? As of now, I have not created any flow over here. I will show you once I have created that, all the flows will be available over here under the session of the desktop flows, right? What is the major difference for the Power Automate and the Power Automate desktop? Power Automate is the cloud-based 
that is on it will works on paper reuse concept whereas power automate desktop is a desktop version where you are going to be install that software on your local computer and then inside by using power automate desktop software which is the enterprise level for creating automated desktop centric flows okay i will show you how to do that in the same session now you may ask how can we download and install this power automate desktop there are two ways we can download this power automate desktop over here first one by logging into the flow.microsoft.com and after that you can see over here you have to click on the install and there you will find power automate desktop this is one of the process that we have to download our power automate desktop software but you required license for this one to download from the power automate desktop cloud platform but whereas there is another way that we are having to download without logging into the flow.microsoft.com what is that another way go to flow.microsoft.com slash desktop is the url where we can download the power automate desktop for free for all the windows 10 users you can see over here once you have given the url flow.microsoft.com slash desktop you will get it the software available over here which it is saying easily to automate anything from your desktop all right see over here the requirement is that now available for windows 10 users at no additional cost so for this software you don't want to pay any cost at all and the requirement is that you have to install windows 10 on your desktop that is only the requirement what we have now let's go ahead and click on the download free it will take a little bit time to download it once the download has been completed click on open to install the software on your desktop right you can see over here power automate desktop setup install package what are the packages is required for this desktop it is going to be installing on our desktop environment all right now if you see click on next now it is asking where to install it i have given the default path over here and then the package includes i'm having install microsoft edge version which is the version 80 or later on and also i'm going to give install shortcut along with that i'm going to select by selecting i'm agreeing with the microsoft terms of use and then i'm going to click on install to install power automate desktop on my computer now our installation has been completed successfully and you can see you are good to go like install the power automate extensions and the launch the app now we are ready to launch our app by clicking on launch power automate desktop now my power automate desktop has been successfully installed now i will show you how to create a flow by using power automate desktop you can see over here i don't have any flows over here in my environment so that I will click on new flow from here or you can create a new flow from here now i'm going to select click on new flow and i'm going to give the name as hello rpa and then i'm going to click on create if you see over here a new flow has been created with the name of hello rpa on your left hand side you can see the all the actions over here and you can see the action pan over here where you can capture all the actions you can just drag and drop all the actions whatever is required on my right hand side i'm having variables inputs and outputs and the flow variable and you can see the menu over here as file edit debug tools view and if you require to record any session of the desktop then you can use desktop recorder if you are going for the web recorder then you can select web recorder from here okay and you can see over here i'm having more than 370 plus of actions available in the power automate desktop these are all drag and drop actions you can see over here if i'm going to work on any excel you can just go ahead and uh, you can drag the action onto the panel and you don't want to write any kind of code for this action it's a low code automation capabilities all right and one more good news is that there are more than 100 plus video tutorials i have already created on the power automate desktop you can go through my channel that is youtube.com learning technologies 
Inside that, you are hang the playlist with the name of Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Tutorials from beginner to expert. There, I have created a lot of videos on the Power Automate Desktop from the past one year where you can easily understand. All right, I hope this session is very useful to you. Thank you for watching Power Automate Tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.